So I don't know, if you guys want to send me a request, go do that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I will be doing a what's on my iPhone 6s video and I love these videos and I used to watch them all the time and I still watch them occasionally but I can never imagine myself doing this but I've done a what's on my iPod video so you guys can go check it out right over there, the little eye over there and it's really cringy but if you guys want to watch it you can I mean it's really cringy for me to look back at my old videos but if you guys want to see a reacting to my old videos please comment down below and like this video let's see if we can get this video to 20 likes and that would be great so I have the iPhone success this is my dad's old phone because he updated to the 8 so I'm really thankful that he gave it to me and it is just a silver one and I was looking for a success case big case but I couldn't find one so I'm really sorry about the glare on this case but it's just black with these little flowers. So yeah, I love it. It's really cute. So let's just get on into the video. So the first thing on my phone. So when you open my phone, the background is just me and my brother walking. And this was like a year and a half ago. Or just, it was this summer. I honestly don't even remember. So first app is YouTube. And you should go check out my YouTube because that's what you're watching right now. Yeah, this is my YouTube channel. Guys, thank you so much for 260 subscribers. I'm so thankful for every single one of you. And I just didn't think that my channel was going to grow so much in these, like, this just this month. Because I, I was at 170 subscribers, just not growing at all because I wasn't engaging and, like, posting the content that I want to post. So I just have YouTube Studio. It's easy to reply to comments and it helps me sort out through my spam and the actual comments and just stuff. So I have Gmail. I love Gmail because it's helpful for school and stuff. I only have my school notifications on because for my home account, it's literally just like promotion. Like, oh my God, there's a sale going on at Vineyard Vines. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's not something that I want to get in my notifications. So I have my Pinterest. I personally love Pinterest because I always use it for doodles. I doodle in my journal and I definitely use Pinterest to do that. And I just have like wallpapers and outfits and just, I love Pinterest, but it can get annoying because a lot of the posts are like repetitive. Like I'll, let's say like I'll re, um, like I'll put this in one of my boards, then I'll keep on getting wallpapers just like this. So that's kind of annoying, but other than that, hey guys, sorry about that. I ran out of memory, but I deleted like old files, so we're good now. So yeah, Pinterest is Pinterest. I genuinely like Pinterest. It just can be annoying, but the, I never retweet like doodles anymore because I don't want to I to keep on popping up. Like when I want to doodle, I want to doodle. So anyways, I use Google Calendar and I love Google Calendar because it's so helpful for like school. Like I, I love Google Calendar because our teachers use Google Calendar to tell us what to do and stuff. So when the whole class is like, oh wait, we had that for homework. I know, because I have Google Calendar. Then I have Safari, because that's Safari. Then I have the weather app, and I actually don't use this at all. I just, I look outside, and like, oh wait, it's cold, so I'll wear something warm, so. And I have Google Docs, because so I just actually like to journal on a document if I'm outside, and I don't have my journal. Photos and tracker, and this is like a follower tracker, so if someone unfollows you, you can see if they unfollow you. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Annie Dalong. It's a private page, so you might get accepted or not, but most likely you will. So I don't know. If you guys want to send me a request, go do that. <laughs> so I have the app Make Hexa, and I really recommend anyone to get this app if you like kind of like puzzles or whatever. I'll show you guys how to play this, and it's kind of just like you try to finish the Hexa. So as you can see, I did that, and you just try to... Well, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's pretty self-explanatory when you see me play it. You just try to make hexagons, and yeah. My sister's really good at this game. I'm not that great at it, but if you guys want to beat my high score, my high score is 3,882. So if you guys go download the app and beat me, uh, just comment down below, and I'll pin your comment. So the next game I have is Trivia Crack. I kind of like this game, kind of don't. Don't really know how I feel about it but I use it pretty often. So I have a camera app, Visco, 
I'm pretty sure everyone knows who Visco, what Visco is right now because literally everyone has the app and clock settings, FaceTime, and Spotify. And like below on the major four apps, I have text message, Instagram, Snapchat, and phone. So on my second page, I have notes calculator, and this is like how I like uh, help sleep, like sleep orbit and tingles. This helps me like sleep a lot, and the sleep orbit is awesome because you can like merge sounds together, like rain, campfire. Like this is my sleep go-to. There's like a haircut. They have like hair um, noises, like hair brushing. It's really relaxing. So this is what I have right now. Anyways, it's really relaxing. So if you guys have trouble going to sleep ever, I definitely recommend that you download that app. And you can always binge watch my channel if you can't go to sleep. <laughs> so for networking, I have Netflix, Duolingo, HQ, The CW, and BuzzFeed. I recently got unlimited data, so Netflix can be come, can come in handy. But I don't use Netflix a lot. Um, in my editing, I have Facetune and Hooji. Facetune's helpful if you're gonna smooth something or I don't know. Hooji was a huge trend and I kind of like the trend, but I feel like it's dying a little bit, so I don't know if I'll post anything on Instagram with the Hooji app. So for shop, I have a lot of shops here. Okay, I have Etsy, Amazon, Panera Bread. I haven't really ordered Panera Bread on here yet, but Panera Bread can be a little pricey. Uh, Urban Outfitters, Hollister, Abercrombie, Airy, Garage, and Dunkin' Donuts. My dance studio is like right next to Dunkin' Donuts, so I'm doing this after school dance thing, which is pretty cool, and I'm not really a great dancer, but it's just fun to do. So Dunkin' Donuts right next to there, so it's good to get good deals and stuff. I haven't signed up a car for that yet, but I can't wait to do that. Hollister, Abercrombie, and Airy, and like all these shops are so helpful because I can see like what good deals are going on and get notifications when they're going on because it sucks when you like miss a 60 to 70 percent off all clearance. So I definitely recommend to get your favorite stores apps if they have one. Next app is App Store and Extras, so just like the, all the apps I don't really like care about. I'm not deleting them because I feel like one day people will need them and I don't want to have to go all the way to the App Store to re-download them. So for my games, I have Swing, Episode, and Fashion Story. I used to play Fashion Story all the time. I was so into it in like fifth grade or like, I even played it in like second grade when um, my family got an iPad. So I love Fashion Story. Um, I kind of got sick of it, but I was like bored one day and I was like, uh, I'm just gonna like decide to play Fashion Story. So yeah, you just, uh, like order shipments of clothing you put it you just you're basically just creating your own shop and it's really fun so i have episode and swing i know that episode is such a stupid app and it's kind of overrated and there's like it's stupid but i was bored okay <laughs> so a dictionary because i'm reading this book right now it's really confusing so it's like there are words that i don't understand so dictionary comes in handy when i'm reading it and I have sing small because I love to sing. I haven't used it yet, but I used it on my iPad. So that's what's on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was it was simple to film and I enjoyed filming it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys didn't already like this video, please like this video. And if you like my channel and my content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week and comment down any video suggestions that you guys want to see.